a nondescript building partially destroyed by fire. After describing it as a simple industrial shed, now Iranian authorities suggest the single-storey building had a much more important role within Natan's nuclear compound. The incident could slow down the development and production of advanced centrifuges in the medium term. Iran will replace the damaged building with a bigger one that has more advanced equipment. The statement seems to back what several foreign analysts have been saying, that the shed could in fact be a centrifuge assembly workshop. These devices can be used to enrich uranium. Natan's facility resumed doing just that in September. According to the IAEA, Iran has enriched the radioactive element to around 4.5 percent purity. This is above the terms of the 2015 nuclear deal, but well below weapons-grade levels of 90 percent. Tehran has long denied that its nuclear program is for military purposes. Renewed nuclear activity in Iran comes as a response to Washington's unilateral withdrawal from the international agreement in 2018. Iranian authorities say they're working on finding the cause behind the Natanz fire. It comes after other incidents at other nuclear sites in the country. In the past week alone, there's also been damage to Parshin and Avas.